There are literally scores of spices used in Indian food and in various combinations and complexities. And, and a lot of people tell me they don't know where to begin. Um, I often take them to the one, two, and three. The, the one group of spices would be something as simple as this. Cumin, coriander, turmeric, chili powder, peppercorn, and fennel seeds. And just these six spices together in various different combinations with various different ingredients gives you a wonderful array of basic Indian dishes to work from. Our second group of spices actually brings us to cloves, cardamom, mace, nutmeg, cinnamon, bay leaf, black cardamom and star anise. And these are the spices which form the basis of a garam masala, which is the holy grail of Indian cuisine. Every household, every chef has their own recipe. Everybody believes that either theirs or their mother's recipe for a garam masala is the best one. These third group of spices, literally, I mean, it's not something that you come across every day. It's not really that they're not available or they're, they're very expensive necessarily, uh, but it's just because there's so, so little known about them and, 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 and even lesser understood. Rose petals, strictly speaking, they're not a spice, but more as a flavoring. It's a very Persian Mughal influence in Indian uh, cuisine, we find. Um, in my kitchens, we use a bit of rose petal to flavor a garam masala too, so it just gives it that sort of little floral quality. There are spices uh, such as fenugreek seeds, uh, black onion seeds, carom seeds, mustard seeds. And again, these are very common spices, but usually used in very typical regions. Um, for example, no southern Indian tempering would be complete without mustard seeds and curry leaves popped in some hot oil. And that kind of goes a long way in, in finishing off any dish.